Good afternoon, everyone. We would like to welcome one of our current co-leaders, Morgan Pressel, into the interview room. Congratulations, a great three under par, 69 today. Got to feel pretty good about how you played out there. Take me through your round. What was really working well in your game? Um, yeah, it was actually a bit of a struggle out there. I'd say my short game it definitely kept me in it. I stayed patient. I didn't hit the ball very well off the tee. Uh, I missed a lot of fairways, and uh, a few of them hit trees and bounced back into the fairway. So <laughs> I got a little lucky on occasion. But um, I took advantage of the holes where I could. I, I nearly had two hole-in-ones today. Um, so that was kind of exciting. It would have been more exciting if they had gone in, especially on that one hole on 12. Mm -hmm. I, like, hit the pin. I'm like, ah, 100 grand. <laughs> that would have been nice. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's – I'm just going to go out there and work this afternoon. I mean, I didn't – as poorly as I hit the ball, I'm right in it, and I'm grateful for that. And I, and I certainly putted well, and I just need to kind of straighten out the driver a little bit and, and get back after it this afternoon. What does that tell you about where you are mentally when your swing isn't necessarily there and you're struggling, but you're finding ways to shoot a score like you did today? Yeah, I think, I think that's a big difference for me this year in general is uh, that kind of a round where uh, I am hitting everything uh, poorly into the right, I, I would get very frustrated and, and get down and, and probably wouldn't have been able to scrape around a three under par round. So I definitely uh, stayed tough. It's a tough golf course. So I knew that the score is nobody's going to go out there and, and blitz it. And uh, if I could occasionally get it in position to for the best chance to make par um, and occasionally make a putt for birdie, I'd be doing okay. Everybody's been talking about this golf course. Everyone seemed excited to get here this week and see it. What have your thoughts been on the golf course? As you said, it's, it's playing tough, but is that the kind of golf course that you like to play? Uh, it's definitely the type of golf course because I'm typically a straight ball a straight ball hitter. Uh, it wasn't quite the case today, but uh, I, like a, I like a tough test. Um, I'm not uh, such a fan of courses that are birdie fests, and, and I like uh, one that tests all aspects of your game, and this one certainly does. I mean, even once you get it on the green, it's not it's no bargain. The greens are very difficult, and um, and the cold, kind of damp air uh, makes it more challenging. The ball doesn't fly as far, and um, and the rough is uh, thick as can be. Watching you over the past year, it seems your game has really been coming. You played really well, kind of trying to make the Solheim Cup team, worked really hard on that, did that. But you seem to be in a really good place, personally, professionally. Are you about as happy and content in life right now as you've ever been? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm very comfortable out here. I've, I'm enjoying it. I'm, uh, you know, having uh, been married for now a year and, and a little bit. It's been great. And my husband is, you know, one of my biggest supporters. And, uh, and it's been um, a fun journey together. And, um, you know, I, don't, I just don't put quite as much pressure on myself anymore. And, and I think that's made a big difference.